Hey folks, Mel here, uh, Chief Nerd. Let's see, today is, I don't know what we're on, like day five, I think, or something like that. It's a Sunday. Yesterday was trash day. We got rid of a whole bunch of trash, just trash dump. That cost us a whole dollar. Uh, cost us more fuel to go there, so that was pretty cool. Saturday in Nassau County is um, residential day, so they'll give you a discount on that day. So that's uh, that day. And then, but today's activities, we're going to continue uh, roof removal, or ceiling removal, not roof, ceiling, uh, cutting that out. I'm going to redo the steps that go into the back of the bus, making us, these are the temporary steps, making it easy for the construction. Uh, we're also going to uh, do work on little things that are around the bus that are outside while oh, we kind of team and rotate through. The uh, we're using a uh, air 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 chisel, air hammer, air chisel to take the rivets out. We tried drilling, that didn't work too well, and uh, we tried some other stuff. But so we're we're gonna go with that. It seems to be working. So we just kind of take turns. We're gonna cycle through, and when you're not in there chiseling, air chiseling, uh, you just got other things we got to do. Little projects around it. One of the things we're having some difficulty finding is we did remove the heaters, cut the hoses off, uh, clamped them off, and I've been having difficulty finding the right size hose. Um, Advanced Auto, Napa, all those places. Um, they, they don't really have what I want. We're looking for a tighter U. Uh, we found one, but the U was like this big. It was really wide, and I really want to get it as small as possible. Uh, so. Did some uh, email contacts, requesting people to give me some um, info back. Uh, also, I've, I've noticed that when I'm finding things on the website, they're not giving me the dimensions. Like I went through Amazon. Amazon has a whole bunch of them listed, but they don't give you what size the pipe is. Um, so I'm having some difficulty figuring that out. I mean, I know what size I need, but they're not telling me what size they're selling. They're just showing me a picture of it. But beyond that, our goal today is knock some chiseling out. More roof down, more roof down, woohoo! It's a rivet party. So, the way that we lock our front door is we have this lock here that we drilled a hole right there. And that, this lock, we just goes over this and it closes. And that keeps the honest people out. And it's not a very high security lock, so it's not gonna keep out the, anybody who really wants to get in is gonna get in. But it will keep the honest people out. There's my beautiful wife. Hey, <laughs> queen nerd. Yeah. Interior decorator, chief nerd. <laughs> she has whatever title she wants. And this is my nerd minion, a Miss Alora. Hey, beautiful. That's Miss Alora. So, as you can see, we've taken out both strips of metal down both sides. Now, one of the neat things we had, these came off with just screws. Those were easy. But, as we were looking down these, everybody's fear is rust. We found no sign of rust in any of these until we get down here on the corner. And that's actually not rust. I thought it was rust at first, but no, as it turns out, that's just primer, it's paint. That's not rust either. And that's where there was a, where you can see there's a big dent. The outside, they, they hit something. And even then, still didn't get rust in there. It's kind of cool. And then on the other side, I can get a little closer to it so you can kind of get a feel for it. That's not rust, that's paint. That's like a primer paint that the white goes over. So there's no rust. The only spot we've seen rust so far is a little bit of underneath the floor. Um, but we're doing, rivet by chisel, air chisel, and it pops them right out. I mean, we're nerds, so we're out of shape. Round is a shape. Round is a shape, and I'm more of a pear shape, I'm not really rounds. Um, so we're chopping those out. We're gonna continue that party today. We've also dropped these lights just to get prepped to get them out of the way. That's not why you dropped them. Why did I drop them? So that I can run into them. Oh yes, we they were. It was a we we were ambushing our, our one of our minion nerds, and even in the front, as you can see, no rust. 
We have no rust on the inside of this bus so far. That is like, yay! This front piece was a little bit of a struggle to get out, but not super, super hard. The part that was a little hard was getting this cover out. There used to be a piece right here that covered this, and this is the air-operated door. Uh, but we're gonna get, we're gonna, we're gonna keep the door, but we're gonna convert it into a normal door that just swings outward. Um, but we like the look of the door, has that gives it that bus feel. But I wanted to get. Oh, and what was that beautiful? So that your cat can look out the window. My cat is the only cat we're talking about. There's this... gonna be three other cats on here too. Yeah, and they're just there to entertain Nargle, my cat. <laughs> Mine's the little round orange one. Um, we'll talk about her later. But yeah, we we took this out, um, and it was a, a bit of a, a effort to get it out. You see, you watch the other video, um, and that's because we're gonna want to spray this. All of this, all this mechanisms have to come out eventually. Um, but I'm not taking them out until I'm ready to close off those lines. So now one of the issues that we're still having is that I did not repair this conversation well enough, or I would have that uncovered already. These are the hoses we're talking about. They used to feed the uh, the heaters back here. Having difficulty finding something that's going to be close enough to go from this one to, to that one. Now, because I clamped it here, and I clamped it really hard, when I go to do this, I'm going to have to cut it off here because this clamp has probably damaged that hose so far. So if you do this and you clamp it off like I did here, it seals it off really well. Um, this is the same way they use in the firefighting when you want to stop a runaway fire hose. Okay, But the issue is, because I've got it clamped like this, I'm damaging this. So if you do this, when you put in your splice, or you put in your, your, uh, your piece that connects the two together, you're going to have to cut behind this. Because you, what you don't want is when you're in the mountain somewhere driving around, this ruptures in, inside, right behind the driver. You do not need 200 degree antifreeze spraying all over the place. That's how people get killed. So I'm going to cut it off back here somewhere. Somewhere in here is why I left plenty here. Um, and then put those two together in an undamaged section. So, so that's us, and I get my wife here to do the signing off part, I'll stop this. Peace out. <laughs> hey everyone, um, so we have help today, my bestest, Hi. Um, so her name on the videos are going to be um, Bestie Nerd, or as dad says, Best Friend Nerd, so BFN. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> he likes to make up acronyms. I don't, I don't know. It's a Navy thing, I guess. Um, That's what I'm here for. <laughs> so, we're going to be playing with power tools. This is dangerous. Okay. What uh, are we doing? <clears throat> the cure protectors on. Now, I'm going to show you. <clears throat> when you first start, angle your bed up. Okay. What that does is that opens that up just a little bit. That's all there is to it. <laughs> okay. Okay? You really should have gotten that face. I knew we go. Okay. We all need to stand back. Oh, shush. <laughs>
was gonna help. Help. Got some gloves, Maddie? Maddie, do you? Oh, crap. What'd you do? There was a rivet that's not fully removed in that panel. Just one? Can we just yank it? it? It's like it's shipped off the top. That was when I started to grind. Yeah, it looks like it, it's about... You I was, I was hoping side. it wouldn't be an issue. Pull from the other side.